We want to bring special attention to the railroad crossing sign. In the United States, someone is hit by a train about once every two hours. A Kimberly Dykeman tells us these crashes are almost completely avoidable. When a train and a car collide, the train wins every time. If you would take a Coke can and put it on the roadway, and then you would drive over it with your car, that's the same as a train hitting your car. Same weight ratio. The same thing happens in a car. Gets hit by a train, flattens out the car, any contents in it get spread out all over the place. That includes a person. For some, trains present an illusion. From a distance, it may look like they are traveling slower than they really are, but they can be on top of you before you know it. Some even think a train can stop to avoid you. In truth, a train traveling at 50 miles per hour will take a full mile and a half to come to a stop. Sometimes, car train crashes happen just because drivers want to beat the train. Traffic safety expert Dr. Terry Klein says this is a societal problem. In our society, we're taught to be competitive in everything we do. We're taught to be competitive all the way through. Then all of a sudden, we're getting thrust into a situation where we're a driver, and now we're told, don't be competitive. Be more responsible. Play fair. When you get behind the wheel of a car, you've got to switch gears in another another type of learning environment, another type of social environment, where you're working with people instead of against them. Indeed, highway rail deaths are almost completely preventable. Follow these rules. If you're at a railroad crossing, always assume a train is coming. Always be ready to yield to the train. Never drive around a lowered gate or go past flashing red lights. Never race a train to a crossing. If you tie, you lose. Never drive onto a crossing unless there is room to get off the other side. You don't want to get stuck on the tracks. Watch for a second train when you cross multiple tracks. Don't walk, cycle, or ride ATVs on or near the railroad tracks. Cross tracks only at designated crossings. Stay off bridges and out of tunnels. Finally, if your car stalls on a crossing, get out immediately and call the police for help. Almost half of all crashes at railroad crossings happen at crossings that do not have automatic gates and flashing lights to warn motorists when a train is coming. This makes it even more important for drivers to be alert and take these railroad crossing signs seriously. Just remember, when a car and a train collide, the train wins every time. I'm Kimberly Dykeman.